So this is a fake 10 ounce silver bar from overseas, completely fake, it's counterfeit. The only silver on this is the thin layer of plating on the outside of it. And came in from overseas. I don't think these are very common just because the amount of shipping cost it is to get these things into the country versus just like a, a small coin or something like that. But they do exist and I do expect these things to get better over time, just like the coins have. And I do see a lot of people buying these things and, and leaving reviews on, on these sites. So I know they're selling and the more that sell, the better they're gonna get at these things. And, but yeah, so let's move into it. So there's a bunch of ways to test this. And if you're not testing your metals, I, I definitely recommend you do. And it's not just the coins, it's also the Boolean as well. So we'll put this on the scale. And this does fail all the tests. You can see it comes in at 10.09 troy ounces, which seems really, really close to the right weight, but it's actually too heavy to be something coming out of the Royal Canadian Mint for sure. Uh, you wanna see something much closer to 10 ounces. And this one came in at 10.01, right? 10.02 so it's probably 10.015 or something like that so this is the real one that passes the weight test this fake one over here is just a tad heavy uh, which tells me that if they made 20 or 50 of these things there's probably a few of them in there that are actually the right weight um so you want to do more than just the weight test for sure uh, the magnet test is another one so here's the way to do here's the real bar here i got a n52 rare earth magnet this is like a laboratory grade magnet really really powerful it's going to slide slow down the silver and create an eddy current, but I actually think it's also because it's a diamagnetic metal. Uh, here is a fake, here's the fake bar, and we're gonna put the magnet on that, and you can see it just sticks, right? And this is actually advertised as not magnetic, and but it clearly is, there's probably something in the, in the plating process or something like that. Uh, another test that we can do is the dimensions test. So you can get online and you can see how long these are supposed to be, how wide they're supposed to be, and how high they're supposed to be. But if you have a known authentic, you can compare, and you can see that this one is taller, it's also wider. And another way, if you were comparing with a known authentic, you can see that the real one has this reeded edge. And what's really, really cool about the reeded edges is if somebody does tamper this, like they drill a hole in it and put some lead or something in there, you would be able to see it because the reeds would be hard to put back exactly perfectly, right? So here's the fake one here. It doesn't have the reeded edge, but it looks like they kind of tried to do like a, like a fake reeded edge. I'm not sure if you guys can see that like they like buffed it or something like that to make it look like it's readed but it's it's not it's not really showing up on camera but that is actually on there cool so that's uh, another way so we did the weight test the mentions test the magnet test and then the ping test so you can see here we'll put it on this little thing here and tap it it has kind of like a like a high pitch sound to it and the resonance is a little funky as well so it's definitely not a real silver bar so we'll put the real one on next this is the real Canadian bar. That's definitely more of that, that silver sound that you'd be expecting to hear. So yeah, be aware of these things are coming guys. Um, weight dimensions, magnet ping. These fake 10 ounce silver bars do exist. It's not just the Canadian mint ones. There's, there's other ones as well. Cool, happy hunting, test your stacks. Take care, any questions let me know.